Okay, there we go. Let's see if it works now. Okay, it works now. <laughs> what's good? Hey, what's going on with you? Just chilling, man. Taking it easy as always. Man, that's the best we can do, man. Cause it's just it leads to so much turmoil out here. So it, it's just really good to you know finally meet you, man. Cause I know that I had invited you a while back and. Just things didn't align well, but I'm just happy that we are able to finally make this happen. Man, I mean, you know, God work how he work, you know? No doubt. Of course, no he, doubt. Of course he didn't do nothing, you know what I mean? When it's that time, it's that time. So all For I can sure. say. For sure. But yeah, man, how about you introduce yourself to the people who may not know you and everything? I'm Dada Cuts. I'm Ed Dada Pearson. I'm Edward Pearson. You know what I mean? I'm a barber. Um, I'm messing with the housing market now. Um, mm -hmm. I got a million of junk cars for sale right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, I'm having fun, man. I'm trying to have my way, man. That's all, man. That's what's up, man. So how long you been barbering? Man, I've been barbering since I was about 13 years old, for real, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Man, that's dope. Yeah, my guys was giving me a chance when I was young. And uh, I ain't take it serious. I took other things more serious than I took barbering. And uh, until I went to prison. And uh, once I went to prison, I figured out, like, yeah, I can make this work. You know what I mean? And uh, I thought I was good. I thought I was good when I came home from prison. I thought I was good while I was in prison. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I, out and, uh, I went to barber school. And, and when I went to barber school, it showed me that I went good, man. I had to humble myself. Um, for sure. And that, the best thing, though, is to find out that you're not as invincible as you think you are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it just... Really great to meet you because I know that we had a topic, you know, you wanted to talk about it on the show and stuff like that. You wanted to get my feel for it? Oh, yeah. I asked you, what is family? What is friends? You know, that was a question. That was a question. That wasn't a statement. That mm -hmm. was a question. A lot of people looked on there and they just want to say, yeah, yeah, that's the one right there. But what <laughs> else as the people need to know, you know what I mean? Who we dealing with, man? What is a friend? What is family? You know what I mean? Because a lot of people, I, I got it all wrong. I ain't gonna lie. I thought my family was supposed to be this way. I thought my friends were supposed to be this way. And at 37 years old right now, you know what I mean? The reality is it's not like that. Oh, no, man. Because when I figure it out, being 35, family ain't always blood. Okay. And, and family is the people that make sure you're straight, check on your well-being, see if you ate, see if you need anything, checking on your mental, all that. Now, if people can go a week without calling you or checking up on you, that's not family. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't control who you born into. and it's, Really messed up when you think about it because despite being raised with survival and people think that because you raised off survival that you can't love that's the total misconception because love is a choice love is it's a way to put off a person you love yeah absolutely you don't hurt the people that you love you know what i'm saying and things happen Mistakes happen, but at the end of the day, it's like, okay, um, what are we going to do here? It's going to be some accountability. It's going to be some change of behavior. If not, I can go back doing what I'm doing. I can ghost people because we grown now. We ain't kids anymore, and I don't have to tolerate it because I got my own shit. So, and like you could put me on punishment or make my life miserable by doing what's best for me. So at the end of the day, it's all about respect. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. As a man. And 
Uh, oh, go ahead, bro. No, no, you know, you, you you good, gang. I'm just listening. I'm listening. <laughs> yeah, because I just tell everyone, man, because, you know, we all don't, you know, come from a good setting and this and that. You know, a lot of us was on our own and we had learned to navigate and to explore society because it's all about perception at the end of the day it's just all about how you think how you tick and how you operate and just things can get real seriously and some things can, can get blowed out of proportion and we just have to come to a type of compromise and people don't want to compromise people don't want to admit when they wrong and it's just get tiring man it's like listening to the an uh, old song on repeat 12 times because you heard it all before. You know what I'm saying? And it's just. And that, that's, that's, that's where I was at today. I'm like, man, I'm tired of preaching. Right. You get what I'm saying to the people I love and things like that. And, you know, they gave us this uh, perfect platform to uh, get your voice out. You know what I mean? Social media. You know what I mean? I'm tired. I'm tired of begging to have a family. I'm tired of begging for friends to stay friends after you done did all so much good things for them or, you know, one thing ain't go their way. I'm tired of, you know, mending relationships that ain't meant to be mended. You know what I mean? Right. It comes a point in life where when you want to grow, you have to let certain conversations go. Mm -hmm. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like you said, you shut them off, put them on punishment or whatever, you know? <laughs> no, I just do solid cutoffs, man. I don't even explain myself no more. I don't even express myself because people know, know what they're doing. They right. just be getting away with it for so long because they think because you have a good heart that they could just walk over you. But that's when boundaries comes into play. Because right. I ain't going to keep on telling or explaining my boundaries when you heard me the first time. It just comes a time where or when I have to take a step back and not just because I, I won't, you know, want to do something to you. It's just because I don't want to keep on like giving you my energy when it's not being reciprocated. For sure. For sure. But yeah. So you mind telling us your situation as far as like what what made you make that post? What made me make that post? My, what made me make that post is uh, us, us as a people, we run when it's an emergency. Mm -hmm. We don't run when it's, it's a celebration. Woo! You know, that should go on a t shirt. <laughs> and it's crazy, man. Like, Cause I, man, I'd have been through so much, bro. I'd have been, like I said, I, I grew up in the church. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? I had a pastor, my mom, a nurse in the medical field. You know, my granddad was a pastor. Mm -hmm. So on, you know what I mean? Like I grew up close niche. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And to see people so dispersed, you know what I mean? Like nobody is together. You know what I mean? Nobody. Even when it's good, nobody's together, but guess what they is? They there in private, begging. Mm -hmm. when, when everything's going good, they there for you, but it's in private, they begging. And what they begging for, they begging to tear you down. They Whatever they can get from you, they ain't gonna get back. Right. And it hurted me. It hurts me to see to have to deal with people like this. So I wanted to know other people' perspective before I could actually go back to my people. You get what I'm saying? With some information, yeah. you get what I. This is the information I gather because everybody got. I got so many phone calls off that. My my phone was ringing like I'm still in the trap. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> of course. I ain't got this much love in a minute. Unless they wanted a haircut, you know what I mean? No doubt, man. 
And I don't think you wrong or say anything far fetched, because it's you know a hit dog will holler, you know. Unfortunately, because family ain't been family in for so long, and you just sit back because it's like the same equivalence growing up with all your cousins, all your siblings, and y'all all at grandma's house sleeping in the living room together on a Saturday night, and then y'all get grown and everybody dispersed, everybody separated, everybody got their own thing going on and tribe. Like, you don't even remember a time when you was invited or, you know what I'm saying? They see you like driving or see you walking. They won't even stop and pick you up. Like, hey, cuz, where you going? You need a ride? Man, they don't drive right past you now. So I know exactly what you mean. And it hurts, you know, because you feel like you are op in your own yeah, family. Definitely hurts being the first one to call. They'd be the first one to call you. Mm -hmm. They'll never have an answer for you. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they answer everybody else to gossip, though. But that, I, I, I guess that's part of, uh, of being a man, though, man. I think that's the. That's that's what we gotta wear on our back as a man, you know what I mean? That, that's just what God gave us to life, to live, how I like to live. Yeah, and, and it's unfortunate because you go through your life trying to be a good man and this and that, but the person that been in prison all these years doing numbers and stuff like that over some dumb Dumb shit, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying everybody that been in prison is a bad person, but I mean, when they get out of prison, man, they get a shopping spree, they get money, they get a party, then somebody who goes in complete college. And that hurts, you know what I'm saying? Because I can tell you how many people was at my high school graduation in my right. family. Three. Right. And that's that's embarrassing, man. <laughs> And I want a scholarship, and I had a scholarship to go to school, bro. And three people only came to my graduation. You're gonna ask me, oh, what happened? Should have been there. Should have been there. <laughs> and and it's just the manipulation that goes on when you try to prove a point, when you try to be respectful about it, because toxic. People used to confrontation, they used to arguments. They want to provoke you and poke the bear to get a reaction. They love the reaction, but they don't like to be held accountable. Man, I got a, I got a, uh, I got a scripture. I always refer to, I don't know where it's at, but I stand by it, man. I stand on it, man, because it's real. It's, it goes, open rebuke is better than secret love bro if you don't be calling these people out on this stuff how can we fix it accountability is big bro yeah accountability is big nobody want to be accountable no and then <laughs> you know i always like to use analogies man so that's just like when dr Dr. Frankenstein created Frankenstein. He created him to be vicious, mean, a killing machine, right? Yes. So when Frankenstein turned on the person that created him, he was like, get your hands off me. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you created me this way. You just turned me into a monster. Thank you. And a lot of us were turned into monsters, but not all, all of us can be turned to champions. I feel you on that. And that, that's what comes with just work, man, and just not making excuses. And it's just so many grown men, grown women, um, like to reflect back to their childhood, and they use their childhood as a way of but I'm not going to be the best that I can be because I was put through worse. I was put through such pain, right. um, abuse, 
and this and that. But at the end of the day, you know, you grown. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? This is your life. You only get your own life. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cause you know, pretty soon, like when you try to like use that on a person with some common sense, right? It, they, it only can work like a couple times, and then that fifth and tenth time, they gonna be like, "Man, shut your bitch ass up and man up <laughs> and of course woman up." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's and that's what I'm learning. But uh, but a lot of times, man, uh, I was I was uh, checking you out before uh, it even started, and, and you was giving me a little props on the things that I accomplished. I I have, I can't see who watching me. Right. You get what I'm saying? So, and for you to have that when you see me, I feel good about it. You get what I'm saying? And if the family and friends would just do that, that's what that means more than money. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Give me a pat on the back. Sometimes a nigga just looking for a pat on the back. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It just be crazy. Easy, man you know what i mean like but hey you know i could stand i could i could go to the neighborhood i could smoke all the weed i could drink all the patron with everybody or whatever but guess what they ain't gonna do they ain't gonna do what you did because you're trying to get somewhere you know what i mean that, that's why you do what you do you know what i mean that's why you get credit to who need credit because you're trying to get somewhere a lot of people that was friends and family. They ain't trying to get nowhere. You get what I'm saying? That's why they falling off. You know what I mean? That's why we keep taking, yeah, the blood, blood ain't always blood. You get what I'm saying? You don't supposed to be like that, man. Like y'all selfish with the credit. You know what I mean? Y'all selfish with the like, y'all selfish with the shares. It's, it's even simpler than that. Just call me and tell me you love me. Just call me and tell me I'm doing somewhat good. You know what I mean? Instead of talking about what I did last 10 years ago. Oh, yeah, you know I used to do this. So, yeah, he's still that same. You get what I'm saying? We can't grow like that. No, you can't. And then you also can't grow around weeds. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When you're a plant, you know what I'm saying, you're going to have to cut some weeds from around you in order for you to blossom. Cause they like for your, cause they want to keep you at your current fertilizer, your current uh, roots structure. So you won't become that um, tree or that fruit, that vegetable. And it's, and it's painful because you're looking out for those who love you, you know what I'm saying? And you want the best for them and it's just not going to be a um, recurring thing with them. Cause they gonna hate to see you blow, man. And I go through the same thing. Cause I don't expect anybody to, to watch me every day or to do this for me every day. Cause my support comes from strangers, you know what I'm saying? So I still love you, you know, as far as my family goes. I just can't expect y'all to cheer for me. You know, I, I can't expect y'all to be there for me at my important moments anymore and my drowning moments. Because my, my water, my tribe is going to be there for me before my blood. And I made peace with that. Right. Because you, you sit there and be mad or you be bitter about that. All you're going to do is stress yourself out, get more health problems because you're going to be thinking about it. And once it's in your mind, it goes to your entire body after that. So it's just best to to just leave some people behind, man. <laughs> it is <it's laughs> For your own sanity. It's always good to leave people behind. But just having expectations for people, man, that's, that's a big much. It is a big much, but at the same time, we still have expectations for them because we do got the ones who we expect to be there. You know what I mean? And that's that's the moral of 
how I feel because I ain't gonna give up, man. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say I'm gonna throw them in the trash can. No, I ain't gonna do them like that. But I, I just put it out there just for y'all to know. You know what I mean? Like this is what it is. Y'all don't, y'all still don't want to do it. Hey, I can't help y'all, man. Hey, but I got a question for you. Mm -hmm. Did you check out uh, the Tubi movie? Oh, uh, not yet, man. I ain't even going for him, bro. Um, I've been so busy because I got my exclusive coming up. So I've been just working on that. But I would love to. I was just relaxing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I ain't going to lie. You know, be like, yeah, bro, I seen it. I can't tell you nothing to recite any scenes and stuff like that. But one thing I'm not is a fake. So, but I will watch it. Um, just give me the name of it, and I watch it after we get off here, man. I give you a good, a matter of fact, I could do a review on that <laughs> for you. Just let me know. It's called uh, Straight Ruthless on Tubi. Okay, yeah, I watch it right after the episode, man. But yeah, we um doing good over here, bro. Like as far as like um just reach, you know, you well you. 574 episodes <laughs> you know what I'm saying but but just to but just to do that man just to you know start from nothing and get it out the mud to just having all these, these guesses and all these supporters and stuff like that it just feels great because I didn't think I was gonna ever get to this point I knew yeah absolutely absolutely and I don't deny my greatness anymore i don't limit myself anymore and i was having this conversation with my friend last night it just you know they get us while we young you know what i'm saying they try to destroy us shit even when we in the womb you know what i'm saying because we all came from the 80s you know what i'm saying most of us came from the 80s and 90s you know crack was out there you know what I'm saying? right <laughs> so just imagine how many people that got destroyed in the wound and got taken out, got deleted, you know, while they was kids, teenagers and stuff like that. So when it comes to life, man, I'm grateful because I have outlived a lot of people. For sure. And 35. I keep going. Yeah. And you just got to, it's just like you said, you just got to keep going because everybody isn't going to get it, you know, because we all don't think the same. A lot of us think identically, and half of us don't think at all. <laughs> so you just gotta keep, you know, keep yourself intact. You know, you have a good heart. You can live with. Okay, if they don't want to change. I tried. Right. I can sleep at night knowing that I tried. So it's up from here, man. That's the important thing to know that we try. Keep grinding, man. And that that's why you don't see me make a lot of posts, man, because I'm picking right now. I'll just pick it. <laughs> and it's cool. It's it's all good, bro. It's all because, good. Because of because of these platforms, it ain't no way that uh tagging on Michigan ain't moving like the, the other city moving. So if we don't start holding them accountable for building this thing up. Just like you, I'm here supporting you right now. You know what I mean? Accountability is important, bro. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So we got to send that card more than one time, you know, to get a client. Who your barber, man? Oh, who my barber? Yeah. Oh, Brandon Hines. Oh, B. Hines, right? Yeah. That's my man. School together. We went to school together. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's my dog. He crazy. That's my dog right there. But, but yeah, yeah, man, I um support you too, and that's why I had to get you on here, man, because I wanted you to be a part of this. Because I only deal with the people that we on the same wavelength, and apparently we on the same wavelength because we just trying to come out the trenches. You know what I'm saying? And okay. as much as I we coming out. We ain't trying. Yeah. No, we ain't. <laughs> we coming. So get oh, yeah. We coming. 
Yeah, and I and I only say that because it's it's not the city. It's it's just the current de- demographic. You know, it's the hood. It's the um, urban area, but the city is flourishing. You know what I'm saying? All these different um, places that they building and projects they building, but they're leaving our area the same. And I tell everybody, hey, y'all talk about the hood this and hood that, but the hood looking like a third world country. The hood looking crazy. The hood is um, a war zone. So how can we get, because we got to ask ourselves, how did the hood become the hood in the first place? Mm-hmm. We got to ask ourselves that even like the places that we grew up at or we went to school at, at they weren't all black kids. They was white kids um, on the east side, the north side, and stuff like that before the Great Migration popped in and, you know, white flight. I'm going to be talking about that because that was the the secret racism right there was um, housing. That was the secret racism. And you just see and hear all these people that's so entitled to what you got to have or you what kind of requirements you got to meet to get, get with them. But our peoples, like as far as our grandparents and our parents, I mean, shit, it wasn't any opportunities like that for them, but yet they still was able to, to raise families. Right. So we got to ask ourselves what happened with that. It's, and getting, just, it's getting worse, man. Man, it's getting a day, man, like people losing their inheritances mm-hmm. because of uh, being misled or miseducated, man. It's just, it's just getting bad, man. So if we don't build it up, we're going to lose everything, man. You know what I mean? Because ain't nobody smart. They'd rather get a house back to the uh, city right now instead of selling to you for what is all because they don't want to see you with nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's a crap in the bucket mentality. <laughs> and <laughs> it's it's scary because I always used to think that my worst enemy is the clan or like a bigot or a redneck and this and that. But nine times out of 10, it's somebody who looks just like me or grew up. So- Grew up in my community or grew up on the other side of town, but they still black, you know, either a black man or a black woman, you know what I'm saying? That, that could possibly be my end or can meet my demise by one of our own, but I still have my faith in my people. That's why I be patient and just try, try to just realize like, okay, everybody isn't going to wake up at the, around the same time and just have to be patient with people, but you also have to be assertive. You also have to allow people to know that you ain't the one to play with. Because people can't, can't, try to play with you. We can't keep being slow, though. Of course not. We ain't, ain't got no... You know what I mean? We can't keep being slow, because that's what it is. We slow. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? else pushing. They touching hundreds of thousands. Easy. Pop. Yeah. Uh, uh, artists is on the radio and stuff. They touching hundreds of thousands. Easy, man. We slow. That's the bottom line. You know what I mean? But we only slow because we don't like each other. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? We will find a like in somebody and and tell them persons to find a like in the next one. When we pull it together, we'll get rich. Fast. Yeah. Real fast. Because everything is in a book that they that they put in there, the, the real secrets and stuff like that. That's why I read. And that's why I make sure that I doing something constructive and just making sure whatever I learn or whatever I have uncovered is to pass it on to y'all. You know, I don't care if it don't get no attraction or no type of engagement. I did what I was supposed to do. I did my job. It's about making sure that our people know who they are, where they come from, and what we got to do. Because we have to realize that it's a lot of us that's keeping us here because this is familiar. This is comfortability. 
and that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, change ain't and change ain't gonna be easy, you know. And I tell everybody, you think it was easy for me to get to this point to sit in front of a camera every week and talk to people and stuff like that. And I don't know who be on the other side of that lens, but I just keep going, you know what I'm saying? But it's just all about just knowing your limitations, knowing what you're going to tolerate, knowing what you're going to do and what you're going to be. And we just got to make sure that we get these bad apples out of here. You know, the people that's just loitering, people that's low vibrational, people that's trying to distract us. You know what I'm saying? We got to get those out the way because we pushing them. We making them number one. We making them like that head person. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of it is the establishment, it's the media and stuff, but we contribute to it as well. We need to celebrate the overachievers, not the underachievers. Cause we- Man, people, people just real, for real, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna I'm tell the, the truth on social media because I ain't gonna sit on here and people just gravitate to what bullshit. Yeah. You post some bullshit, you gonna get a thousand likes. <laughs> you yeah. said bullshit dope, you gonna get a hundred more things. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Like, for real, like, it's just, this is just how this shit go, man. You know, and I got 12 bullshit cars right now. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? It's, it's just like, I could have waited and bought the right one. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? You just got to be careful what you pick. Just because they there don't mean they need to be picked anyway. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? For real. Oh, oh, for sure. For sure. <laughs> and, and I just wanted to, you know, touch on, like, the friends aspect. Because I don't use that word loosely anymore. I used to associate. Okay. Because everybody ain't your friend and everybody ain't gonna give you a helping hand. They gonna put a knife in your back. <laughs> and I don't know, I just, I used to really have so much faith in people, man. And they turned on me and I don't have any animosity towards nobody. Because that portrayal was a blessing. You know, everything is a blessing. If it ain't kill you, you have the opportunity to come back even stronger. You can't linger on, on things that you can't control because you can't control loyalty and someone else who's old enough to know right from wrong. Because karma gets misconstrued because it's like we talk about the bad karma, but there's also good karma karma as well. It's the good karma that I want. That's why I make sure that I don't go looking for revenge. I don't wish bad on nobody. Because at the end of the day, you will get back what you put out. But I'm a win. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm a win regardless. Man, you say let's touch on the friends. What is friends? Ah, I got I know I got a real misconception for friends. Like, the ones that I do probably do consider my friends, I probably love them in real life. And I ain't expecting nothing from them. Man. You get what I'm saying? Man, like, man, listen, man, the penitentiary, man, to teach you a lesson, man, about people. When you gotta, when you just living alone for so long, you know what I mean, and and you only, you don't even, you only make a call for fifteen minutes, and you gotta pick the right person to call because you might not have no money. You get what I'm saying? You could write a letter, but that's gonna take out your time because they might not write back. You get what I'm saying? So once I sat there and learned that and came back here and uh, try to adapt back to society and deal with people. I don't even think, 
I'll let nobody get that. You know what I mean? Because, like, what we was just talking about, uh, feeling entitled. Mm-hmm. You know, thinking somebody owe you something. You get what I'm saying? I don't never want to feel like, like, that's, I deal with my family. I'll take that from my family. But my friends, it'd be a little different because the thing that put our friendship into place, you know what I mean? If you go against that, that's just that. You know what I mean? I ain't, you cross that line, it's over for that. We, we became friends somehow, some way. You get what I'm saying? We mm -hmm. friends somehow, some way. You know, we probably did something. We didn't got together, kept doing it, kept doing it. You get what I'm saying? You cross that line, you got, you, you can stay over there. Um, I miss you for real, in real life. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? For sure. Me too, man, because I had to cut off my best friend of 12 years recently. And it was just, when you notice, like, when you, well, you don't really notice, like, when you evolving, when you're growing, you don't notice it, but the people who are on the outside would notice it before you do. And you still approachable, you're not acting all Hollywood or nothing like that. And you just start to see someone copying you or they try to do the same stuff as you and they don't support you but they're copying you and you like wait a minute like what is you doing like you wasn't even thinking about this before i started doing it bro i didn't it i didn't have crazy so ideas mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just i'm keep talking i'm just talking bro no but it's just like you should see the that you in a competition with them and it's just you didn't ask or sign up to be, be in a competition, but you be in a competition. And it's just be crazy. And then you just, you know, bypassing it because you care about this person. You know what I'm saying? Because you just really wanted to make sure that you're not jumping to conclusions or you're not being paranoid and this and that. So it just, if you just let a little bit more time go by and then they start doing it the same shit or saying the same like hating slick ass shit then that's when you address it and it's, it's gonna it's gonna be some denial it's gonna be some oh man like you seeing things man you paranoid man i'm happy for you bro and this and that but they ain't happy for you oh you on mute bro <laughs> We can't hear you. Okay. okay. Yeah. I was saying people will steal your whole image, man. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. And and try to take your soul in the midst of it. Cause they want what you have. And I don't think that I'm better than everybody, but I do realize I'm great. I do realize that I'm a king. And it can be more than one king. Yeah. Why it gotta just be one king? It can be more than one. That's how civilization was created with more than one king. Why you get upset when I feel like I'm a goat? You can be a goat too, nigga. Like yeah. what the fuck? What the fuck you jealous for? Like that's what I <laughs> off, not to cut you off, but this goat yeah. right here. That's what I be saying about like barbering. Like I don't got no problem with no other barber, but mm -hmm. just that barber is a competition, bro. It's like it's like the NBA. You know what I mean? Who got the best jumper? If that's if you want to grow, that's just my feel, though. If you want to grow, you got to be able to shoot that mark, or you got to be able to cut that mark. So when I I shoot some shots, but I got love for everybody. You get what yeah. I'm saying? I got love. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too, man. That's that's why I support anybody that's doing things, that's um, trying to get it and make a way out. Why stop somebody that wants something more? Why sabotage a person that's trying to feed a family? Right. I'm trying to feed my family. I don't have any kids, but I'm making a way right. 
for my family. You know, I'm putting money away for my nieces, my, my nephew, oh, yeah. when they come of age and stuff. So, <laughs> man, 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 bro, crazy. I, I see, I see you, bro. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah, we just, well, yeah, we just gotta, you know, take that bullshit out the out the way, man, because. That's what insecurities do. Insecurities <laughs> will make a person feel like you a threat to them and you not even thinking about them. It's it's me versus me. Man. Like, me versus you. <laughs> who is you? Yeah, <laughs> like who is you? Let's, <laughs> let's talk you about it. <laughs> it be fucking crazy, man, because I'm a very humble person. You know, I just now started talking my shit. You know, people were like, Man, you need to start talking your shit more, man. You you have interviewed celebrities. You you have done a lot of great things in the community and stuff like that. Man, you need to start bigging yourself up. You know what I'm saying? Quit being humble. Start being modest. And I can't help being humble because my way has worked. You know what I'm saying? If I feel like if I start taking all the credit and not realizing that God made this happen for me, then... Right it will all crumble. And so I gotta stay humble. I gotta stay focused. I gotta stick to the plan and you gotta stick to your plan. You can't let no new person, no outsider, nobody distract you from the plan. Cause then it would all been done for nothing. It all would have happened for nothing. If you don't have some type of discipline, some type of awareness of who you are. Cause hey. Because that's what I'm doing right now, discipline. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, dead, I'm trying. I got to figure out something to do for 20 days. I'm just taking 20 days um, at a time. 20 days. Yeah. I'm else picking up a book. You know what I mean? Doing something. You know what I mean? Just to change the narrative. Yeah. And I, and I know exactly what you mean. Because... Elevation requires separation. And sometimes you have to get away from people, especially toxic people, man, because it's it's a whole new different ball game when you're dealing and battling people who are attacking you psychologically. It's a whole new ball game. Cause they cause they think that, oh, I didn't afflict any physical wounds on you, but you fuck with my mind. You fuck with my heart. You like <laughs> you don't have to put paws on me for me to be affected. The worst wolves you get when you mess with my heart. Man. And it, you know what's crazy, bro? Like, I'm gonna tell you a story, man. Like, my my pops, man, man my biological father, he been out of my life for he was out of my life for 25 years, right? So, so I caught this man when he got into town. Because if I didn't call him, I probably wouldn't have never saw him, bro. <laughs> but I called him because I wanted some answers. Because I've been hearing all my life how he wasn't shit. So I wanted to know for myself as a 25-year-old man, like, okay, Dad, you want to meet? Because if you ain't shit, if you going to disappoint me, I'm ready for you to disappoint me now. Oh. Then for me to give my hopes up here. But he came around. And we was cool for a little minute. And then, you know what I'm saying? A few red flags started to come. And, and it just got to the point where, like, okay, um, you uh, messed up my perception, but I'm going to give you some more chances because you're human at the end of the day. But right. it just got to the point that I started getting older. Six years go by. And... It just started to become erratic and become very disrespectful, very entitled, coming into my house unannounced and shit like that. So I had to, you know, check his ass. Like, look, um, I'm grown. This is my house. You gonna respect my house, or I'm gonna put my foot in your ass and shit. <laughs> I don't care who you is, like, cause my respect is number one to me. I don't care how nice I am. Don't play with me. You this know, okay, this my, my castle. <laughs> I pay everything in this mug. You ain't gonna be in my house or at uh, like you King Tud in this motherfucker. Like shit, hell no. So I had to let him go because he um violated, and 
and just really was just saying things like, oh, I wish you were never born and stuff like that. Well, too late. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Shit. Nah, I gotta, I gotta put these paws on you because I know I see where we're going with this. Ex exactly. Exactly. And there ain't gonna be no Marvin Gaye, his daddy. It's gonna be in reverse. <laughs> Nigga, like, you ain't gonna take me out. But, <laughs> but at the end of the day, um, you know, he has dementia now. He's in 70 years old. Yeah, man. And when I saw him, he didn't recognize me. Because four years went by. So he didn't recognize me. And I saw him vulnerable. I saw him just looking like a defenseless child. Yeah. And I feel bad. But... You know what I'm saying? You abandoned me. Now, now you got to know what that feels like. Because fuck, fuck all that. Oh, that's still your father. Oh, that's still. Hell no. Because a person who abandoned their child, abandoned their son or daughter, it's a horrible human being. Like, you don't think about one day you're going to get old. You're going to need people. Because all those people that you picked over your your wife or your husband or your kids and this and that, they ain't going to be there when you're old. They're temporary fun. And that's the <laughs> thing that we have to think about is the permanent fun, the permanent choices that we're going to have to make because you're going to get back what you put out. And that's why I'm putting out more good, man, because I'm trying to get so much good to me, bro. Cause all I know is pain. I don't know peace <laughs> like that. You know what I'm That's real. Man. <laughs> I feel the same way. But that, hey man, like I still got a heart. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I mean? It's just my spirit, my energy, and everything that I give off, bro. Like, bro, if I could back all the wrong I did in life, you, mm -hmm. I would. You get what I'm saying? Like. I don't want to wrong nobody. I don't want to, you know what I mean? If I could just take it all back right now, I would, man. Because I've I been, I ain't going to say I've been that dad, but I've been that man. You mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and there's many more men like that who wish right now they could get a restart. You know what I mean? Because if I could restart right now, there's a lot of things that I did I wouldn't do. You get, you get what I'm saying? So yeah, I get just, you, bro. Just think about it like that, bro. I ain't trying to change your mind or nothing like that, but you know, at the end of the day, man, growing, growing is a motherfucker, bro. <laughs> Hell yeah, it is, it is. Yeah. Yeah. But I would say, don't dwell on the past because you only held accountable. We don't know any better, but you only is held accountable when you know better yeah because when, when you know better you do better and that's yeah. and that's, that's what i did because i had to um figure that out i had to realize that i did some fucking up i broke some hearts i betrayed some people too because i was hurt hurt people hurt people you know what i'm saying and when you hurt you know so the last thing you want to do is heal because you want to inflict some hurt to that person that hurt you too. But Man. it don't work like that in the end. Just growing up with no uh, no good direction, man. Like a person not really showing you how things are supposed to go, man. Mm -hmm. A drug wrong track and how you had to figure it out. It might take to you 40 years old to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> then it's too late. Then it's too late. You know what I mean? Like. For real, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. You know what I mean? Like, bro, I, I don't live life like that. I like, I'm really more of a, a upper, you know what I mean? Good spirit. Like, everywhere I be, I wanna have fun. I don't go nowhere that ain't fun. You get what I'm saying? I don't, mm -hmm. even, I don't do none of that. Like, because. God been good to me, bro. First of all, you know what I mean? Like, when I go home, I don't worry about nothing. 
You get what I'm saying? When I go to work, if don't nobody call me, I don't worry about it. I just stay, stay consistent and keep grinding. You hear me? And then it all play a part. You get what I'm saying? I ain't worried about it. Not, that's the man I am. You get what I'm saying? So if I could build something around me, a lot of people like that, that ain't worried about nothing, then we're going to build this thing up. You get what I'm saying? But they got to understand that part first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it just, everybody ain't going to, can't come with you, bro. Everybody can't go with you, bro. And I, I know what you feel because it's, it, you don't want to feel like you let people down, yeah. but they also let you down too yeah. by choosing to remain a certain way. Yeah. And, and it's okay. You know what I'm saying? Everybody isn't ready. And sometimes people just need to see that whatever you wanted to do or whatever goals you had, they got to see you accomplish them first. Be like, oh, okay, this is what he was talking about. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to fall in line. I'm going to behave. Oh, uh, no, you're going to be at the back of the line, but we're going to find you. <laughs> we're going to find you. <laughs> I can't get you no VIP or nothing. You're going to be at the back, though. No, that's <laughs> how I feel. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like if you ain't rocking with me now, don't expect me to uh, bring you along for the ride. Because so you, you got your chances. I know. I know you're gonna pull up. It's gonna cost a little bit to pull up, too. But yeah, for sure, uh, for sure, for sure. Yeah, you know. Shout out to everybody tuning in, man. We we just chopping it up and stuff like that. But but yeah, man. I I just respect people who, who's on the up and up up and that have bad origin stories, but they're making a better possibility. Oh uh, yeah. That's what I'm looking for. And, and I'm proud of you, man. If anybody else don't tell you um, in the family, man, you got a new family member now. And I'm proud of you, dog. Like, <laughs> That's all I wanted. Uh, you wiped him off. <laughs> That's all I wanted. <laughs> no, man, because shit, I feel you. You know what I'm saying? Because it feels good to have somebody tell you you're doing a good job because it's so easy to do bad. It's so easy to go down a, a dark path or be in a dark place, but it's hard to remain resilient on who you are, making sure that you keep your soul intact. Because once we lose our soul, that's it. Because our soul is everlasting, it's eternal. You know what I'm saying? And, and we have to make sure that we don't let no dark entities affect us or just let the wrong people. Because words are powerful. And people better be careful who you watch to pray for you. Because everybody ain't praying for you. <laughs> and for, for prosperity. They pay, they're praying for you so they can see you fail. Some people <laughs> want you to die. They want to see you die, die and fly. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And as crazy as as funny as it is. Man, I don't underestimate nobody who hate me or who's jealous of me. I don't underestimate nobody. But luckily, my guardian angels, my brother, my dad, my grandparents, Thanks, everybody is watching over me and protecting me from these clowns and from these imposters, these spectators, these haters, these little bit everybody who ain't good for me. And... They watching over you too, man. Your own army, man. And we gotta remember that. You know what I'm saying? Cause we so quick and so common to expect people who are flawed to give us our flowers. A lot of people hand you dead roses. They rather hand you Danny Lions. Mm -hmm. They hand you a whole rose or dozen roses, man. So we have to remember that. But yeah. But you're going to be good, man. So you still here. You healthy. You good. You strong. And you also, hey, <laughs> you have a, the capability to make things happen for yourself. Thank you. You ain't.
because shit, I would lose everything. But as long as I have my mind, I could come back, back ten times stronger. As long as I still have my mind. And the best thing, I mean, I ain't gonna lie, man. Like, <clears throat> I just stay prayed up, bro. You know what I mean? And I go, I just go through it like I gotta go through it because I done been through it. You get what I'm saying? I done left, came back. You know, life, life going a little better. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, like. I say I just stay prayed up, man, and be hoping for something else to come apart, man. Like <laughs> fun today, you know what I mean? I'm just gonna keep going, bro. Like you said, I I appreciate it, man. The info. Yeah, no, yeah, no problem. You know, I, it's it's gonna be all right, man. You still have a lot to do. You still have a lot of people to meet. You still have a lot of heads to cut. You know what I'm saying? Don't let don't let these people man discourage you, bro. You a good person. You don't need them. 34, 55, court. <laughs> yeah, you got it, man. Cause you already did the hard part. You you making money, you in business for yourself. And and that's hard to get black people to support you, man. It's hard. But you got your clientele, you you got your lights on. You know what I'm saying? You keeping it going? One more. To you. I'm best my boy Twin Cuts, man. Shout out to Twin Cuts. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Got a big team over there, man. We got dreaders, ponytailers, you know what I mean? Wiggers. For sure, <laughs> For sure man. But yeah, um, before we go, man, I just wanted to ask you, so what is other thing that you want to do that you want to accomplish because i don't know if you just want to be a barber or you know what you're doing now with the cars and this and that but what is your ultimate position that you want to do once you leave this earth and stuff like that like what you want to be remembered for first of all i just want to be remembered because i do a lot of stuff you get what i'm saying mm -hmm. but but the daughter cut somehow gonna make a stamp on something. I put it like that. We gonna put a stamp on something. We got a lot of good things going on, man. And when I do present them, I'll be on here to talk about it with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm and I'm rooting for you, man. This is gonna be all right. We just have to remain strong man because life ain't fair man so you gonna have to pull up on me i gotta uh hopefully man i i might do a podcast i might just buy the hookup just to try it out and let you find my spot one day man yeah man just let me know man you know what i'm saying i, I send you my number this ain't just for the like the show like you could just hit me up anytime man you want to vent you need to talk get some stuff off your chest man i'm here for you you're not alone. Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. No problem, man. We gotta stick together. Yeah, We're gonna pull through, man. We just gotta take one day at a time, big dog. We'll get it right, man. Just pop at me when will you get a chance, man? My uh cousin, I seen he was on her. I get him a shout out, free money jeweler. Man, I think he been on here with you before. Yeah. Yeah, he been on here. Cool guy. That's my guy. I seen all my other cousins in the comments. I love y'all and I appreciate it. Y'all know we we locked in. You know what I mean? For sure. Alrighty, man. I'm going to get up off here, man. Tap in. I'm going to shoot you my number, man. We can probably take a little more, man. We sauce everything up, man. We go from there, man. We can do it again. Do it a little better. Yeah, you know man. No, I mean? Yeah, no problem, man. And Again, it was an honor meeting you, man, talking to you, bro. Honor and man. and you take care. Have a good night. Already, Brody. All right. Peace.